Happy Monkey Monday, everyone. M -m -m Monkey. Today we're going to be playing a little, a little indie game called Do Not Feed the Monkeys. It's made by... It's made by Fictiorama Studios and Badland Games, according to Steam. It's a good game. I've played it before, but I haven't I haven't experienced all of the content. So we will experience all of the content tonight. We're going to play it. No, not really. Uh, Avatar. What should what should Avatar be? Quick, quick, quick. <sighs> Avatar. Flower. Gingerman. Duck. Robot. Wait. Duck. Uh, go. Go. I've made a pole. You're on a delay. That's okay. You should be able to see the... Jinjimna it is. Monkey. Peeper mode? No, I don't need peeper mode. I'm a pro. I need pee pro mode. Let me rearrange some of my windows, actually, because the size of this game is not ideal for my usual situations. Oh, but if I put that there, then I can't see the chat. God damn it. Can I pop this chat out? Pop out chat. Don't do that. Don't go there. Holy shit. It's all falling apart. Go there. If I put that there, and put that there, then I still don't have access to my funny soundboard. <laughs> oh, damn it. All right, that's fine. We'll figure this out. Also, why is that doing that? Everything goes just right, just when we need it to. Does that work? I don't know. We'll just, we'll put everything where it goes. It's fine. Monkey. That'll work. The Primate Observation Club. Dear new member, following a strict vetting process, your membership application has been approved. Welcome to our club for wildlife enthusiasts. Please read the contract carefully and accept that the club, you're, you will... Do not. I accept. Okay. Yep. I'm sure there's nothing important in there. All right. We got our monkey vision. Any emails? I don't care about that. Can I delete that? Goodbye. Payment comfort. Don't care. No. Okay. Ooh. Oh, is it actually? Oh, it's act. Oh, I'm playing the famous game. What more could you want out of a video game than to play it? Oh, I don't want to lose. Oh, look at that. You see this and you say, there's someone who's played the video game before. What was I doing? Why am I here? Did I have a goal besides this? Probably not. That's fine. I feel like I would remember if I did. This is... Holy shit. I'm incredible. Okay, that's enough of that. It's back in minimalist form. I mean, it's pretty much <laughs> already but that's fine. Uh, landlady's coming in a couple days. I have a million dollars, $90, I mean. 
Let's let's log on to Monkey Vision. You know what? Because I jokingly skipped all the terms and conditions, anyone who's watching this who doesn't know what this game is is probably really confused. So <laughs> I will explain. The premise of this game is that I'm a member of something called the Primate Observation Club, where we get access to a system of hidden cameras that are all over the place in people's homes and offices and anywhere you can imagine. We basically just sit at our desks, watch our camera feeds, we just take notes, take our little silly notes, and we just observe. And the, the, the number one rule is that you are never supposed to interact with the people that you're looking at. But maybe you should. Maybe it's the right thing to do sometimes, who's to say? So we're just taking some notes here. Oh, hello. Chat me go, don't mind if I do. It's Masked Maiden. Hey, are you there? Hello. It wasn't easy, but you got in. You're part of the elite, my friend. You can thank me later, lol. Now you know what you have to do. Play by the rules and save up a ton of money. I told you being a club member wasn't cheap. Yeah, I do have $90. Now don't make me look bad after all I've done for you. I gotta go. Right, your monkey vision must have just been installed. I suppose you're dying to observe your cages, but be careful, because this shit's addictive. What do you mean? It's worse than tobacco. I spent so much time on it the first week, I didn't eat or sleep. I almost ended up in the hospital. So eat properly and rest from time to time. Okay, bye. Thank you, Mask Maiden. Okay, back we go. What's going on here? Ooh. I don't remember. Oh, I have seen this one, but I don't remember it very well. Hello, Andy. Oh, no, my computer. No. <laughs> it's a good game. IMO. All right, so let's let's do some googling and see what we can learn about uh, this first person. They're clearly in an attic. Anything here? Nothing here for me to take notes on. Don't have any crystal kitchen. No, that's nothing. Yeah, so not all your screens are going to be useful, unfortunately. Oh, I shouldn't buy a new cage right now. But I want to. Two cages is shit. Is he done? Yeah, this light's off, which means that nothing's going on here. So, let's... How do I... There we go. Never not interacted. I don't remember if I've ever not interacted. I actually don't remember. We'll see how we decide to go with this one. Uh, can't do that right now. Oh, I could do this. Gas station car wash attendant, $15. Uh, poster hanger. It's more money, but more hours. Let's let's get a nice, a sweet 15 bucks with just an hour of work. Easy. You scrubbed like crazy and got all the dirt off those clunkers. Shit, you didn't even leave a bit of grime. In short, you clean like a goddamn god. You're good at this. Come back whenever you want. Thank you, sir. Anything going on over here? Oh, hello. So once, once we have a second where nothing's going on, I'm going to Google this Crystal Kingdom place. Oh, hello. What's up? Uh-oh. Coming by to collect rent in two days, $90 as usual. Have the money ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is Crystal Kitchen? Crystal, Crystal Kitchen declares war on the country. Armed uprising in the rundown neighborhood aims to subvert law and order and democracy. Chaos and pain will rule the streets. We're crazy. Our sole objective is to cause trouble, declare the spokesperson of the violent terrorist group Residents Fighting for Crystal Kitchen, according to anonymous sources. What are they 
talking about. Put any of what in your mouth? The chicken? Just blew your tip. Residence, Crystal Kitchen. Rick Stevens, there he is. Activist and social worker, spokesperson for the Association of Residents Fighting for Crystal Kitchen. 2,000 families are awaiting a solution at Saving the Hood. Okay, he's back to not doing anything. What if... You have a contact in your notebook. You can use the telephone or chat by clicking the corresponding icon. Chat also lets you send videos. Well, I'm not going to... I don't want to chat with him just yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to be interacting. That would be very preemptive before I even know anything that's going on. Political satire. I know, right? <laughs> let's let's do some work while while nothing's going on. Oh, but the the photographer lady said 14 o'clock, so I probably missed that. What the fuck are you doing here? Ah, naturally, the underachiever who carries the brush and glue around all day long. Well, here's some here's some change. Get yourself something nice. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I missed that. That's okay. As a club member, we invite you to collaborate in our wildlife observation studies. To do so, you will need to provide us with certain information about the cages loaded in your monkey vision. Once we have verified that your information is correct, you'll be compensated for your work. These are voluntary assignments. Declining to participate will not affect your relationship with the club in any way. Keep an eye on your email. You got it. Those are a great way to earn money. Oh, what's going on over here? Cotton Princess. Well, that sounds like a term. Cotton Princess 3, a film based on the life of its famous leading lady. Hordes of teens packed the theaters. An actress. Cotton Princess actress. We found her. Ashley Applegate. We know her manager. Announces a new record and tour for next year. Child star and a mass idol. Well, now we know who this shitty lady is taking pictures of. All right. Uh, sleep or work? Work. It's easy because it's not me. Tired, right? No one said making the world a cleaner place was going to be easy. This is our role. Nocturnal custodians, defenders of hygiene, the ammonia squad. Okay, man. All right. Nothing going on here. That guy's online, but he's not doing anything. Um, should probably get some sleep. It's so scary to sleep in this game because you never know if you're going to miss something. Anything going on here? Not yet. This is a good opportunity to go to the store. Let's get some fruit, some yogurt, although I think there are sales, so I shouldn't spend too much money if I don't have to, actually. Turn, turn, Jesus. He's asleep, nothing's going on here. It's an hour trip to the store. I'm fully rested. Shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's safe. Don't wanna don't wanna spend too much money and get f fucked on rent. Okay. Monkey. Okay, that does that does click out of the uh my setup is not great right now. <laughs> Does this turn the camera? No. Nothing like a 6 a.m. shopping run. Hey, we all... We all have those days. What is the timer? Do I know what that is? I don't know if I know what that is. What is that? Ha what is that doing? What's happening? <laughs> I don't know what that timer is. Ah! 
Oh, no, 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 no. We're not uninstalling. That would be ridiculous. Oh, I forgot you can do this. Oh, that's useful. Oh, it's just the end of the day. Okay, landlady will be here tomorrow. Crystal kitchen. Electoral campaign begins. Record ratings for Shock TV. Television consumption continues to rise. Do you think this means anything? All right. Change is dangerous. Don't that startle me. Don't risk it. Vote for Walker. Two for one on coffee. Don't care. Something happened, please. Ooh, a hat. Now I know that this person has a hat. Oh, what do we got? Eight hour shift at the grocery store. That's not great. Eight hour shift as a waiter. Prior experience in food service. Don't have that. Warehouse assistant. These are all eight hours. Yeah, I never use coffee. It's, what does it even do? Hello, Nick. Oh, I just got a ping. Something's happening. Good morning. No, nothing. Well, then, oh, oh, here we go. Come on, darling, give me what we need. Totally nude. Sneaked photos. Big bucks. What's going on here? 100 degrees out there. Why can't I send you an email? Oh, floor it. Oh, shit. There's so much happening. Limousine. That's useful info. It's hot for everyone, Pete. I, uh, communication channels are being monitored. Okay, that's that's over. Good, 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 good. Uh, so what I'm doing in this game is I have uh, I have purchased a subscription to Name of the Primate Living in Cage One. I have purchased a, a, a membership in a club where I get access to these hidden cameras and I get to watch people. Uh, and I take notes and I try to learn about them and then sometimes I get emails that are like, what's the name of the person living in this cage? Uh, and then I can get money if I answer them. Um, driver. But the, the main, the big rule is don't interact. Uh, but you can. And that's the question, eh? Ashley Applegate Driver. Wonder Driver Leslie Dooley. We found you. So now I actually have this woman's handle who is like taking, taking nasty nudes of Ashley Applegate. <clears throat> so I could contact her if I wanted, or I could even contact Ashley Applegate's manager and let him know what's going on. This guy's clearly some kind of activist weirdo. Rick, Rick something. What's his name? Rick Stevens. Uh, but for now, I know that this is Leslie Dooley. So... I'll get a little a little chunk of change if I'm right. I I can't quite get that get a feel for like what the story is here. He's clearly like doing some kind of political something or other. But nothing's really standing out in terms of details. Oh, heart attack chicken. That might be useful. Oh, wait. Oh, I almost missed that. Ha ha. Didn't bring any sauce. We ran out. Coronary sauce. Is this like some kind of fake thing where he's actually ordering grenades or something? 
The cook has been swamped with work since that newspaper article came out. Yeah, I think he's buying weapons. Yay, I got $75. Excellent. The special ingredient comes in wooden crates with the symbol for highly flammable printed on the top. That, I don't think these are related. Angelo's Heaven, most popular chicken in the city. Oh, I have a phone number for this chicken place now. Hello. I'm Amy, and this is my colleague, Ted. We're apostles of the local Wyland's Witnesses Church. Do you have a minute to hear the word of Billy Bob the Holy Butcher? Okay. Wonderful. I'll tell you a bit about him. Billy Bob Wyland was a humble butcher living in the country's most rural region. He was slicing bacon one day and found a secret message formed by the fat in one of the slices stating, Billy Bob, go out and spread the word. He immediately left Chattooga Creek, his birthplace, and founded his own church. I'll tell you more about him another day. We want to ask you a favor before we go. We're going to leave this beautiful plant with you. Would you look after it for us? We'll come and take it away in a few days. And if you're a person the Wyland witnesses can trust, you'll see it will be even more beautiful and luxuriant. Don't worry about watering it. It feeds on the kindness pervading the air in the room. We'll return soon. So basically, by by being nice to people and helping them, that plant uh, flourishes. So let's have a little snack. I should go do some work. Wait, let me verify that this is okay. Calendar. Okay, landlady comes tomorrow afternoon. Which means, what can I do? These are long shifts. I can't do either of these. Mm -hmm. Key skills. Ignorance of collective bargaining. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Good. All the products stocked on their shelves. Thank you. Thank you, you weird racist caricature. What the fuck? The fuck was that? Well, let's buy some new cameras. Yes. Now we gorge ourselves on yogurt. Well, there goes all my fucking food. Man, this game really does not make you sleep very much, huh? <laughs> if I could be this energized on four or five hours of sleep a night, I'd be a different person. I would be better at everything. <laughs> uh, can't do that. I can do that. Do I? Yes. Take these opportunities while I got him. Let's get fucking rich. Friend of the monkeys. Two more cameras to level up. Those damn boxes are heavy. You've been up to the task physically. Thank you, sir. Uh, I don't think any of this matters. Whoa. Hello. Hello. Here's your rent. Hey, good thing that I uh, didn't fuck up and miss that when I was working. <laughs> the address of cage four. Don't know. For the modest sum of $20, you can unlock recording. Good to know. Thumbnail pen, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, what do we got? It's not helping people working on writing. Nothing else going on here right now. Creepy, bad. And a man dying in an elevator. Break time. Oh, right, I need to, I keep forgetting, I have to take notes on. How's it going, comrades? I'm not sure about a phrase.
pain hieroglyphic can be resolved through profound deconstruction of your conscience. Nothing going on there. You're using some very complex con concepts there. Amateur Nabokov. I'm not sure why I can't click that. That seems important. Self-help literature. Ooh. Take some notes. Take some notes. Complicated words wear our readers out. They won't even make it to the second page. You fool. You fool of a man. Oh, right. My character has uh, biological needs and is hungry. <laughs> Let's see what you think of this. If you know who you are, you will live a long and cool life. <laughs> Nailed it! Hell yeah, dude. You did it. Self-help. The witch will be here soon. Law 566H. Now what is that? Walker approves... I get it. I get it. Walker approves controversial law 566H, the so-called printed word tax. Every letter printed on paper will be taxed accordingly. If authors want to fill our heads with ideas, they should pay for the privilege. I need food. To the store! Chicken's a little pricey. But it, it does fill you up, though. Anything new here? I feel like I'm not getting any information here. This guy's getting a phone call. Fiona Bates. There's a name. 15th floor. Hmm. Diamond Park. Why are these not clickables? Don't forget the fire in the last building. Stinks of sweat in here. Neighborhood. It's not hygienic. Give me the address. Say something helpful. Where's my new self-help book, goddammit? I think this lady might not be the nicest person. Camera one, I don't care. You're not relevant to me anymore. Gus? Excrement. Next meeting will be tomorrow at 10.30. Urine. A fondue made with my urine. Okay. Gonna have to do some research on Fiona Bates. 10.30 tomorrow, that next meeting will happen. Okay. Fiona Bates. Wise, sweet, sensitive, and centered. Looks like it. Anything else? Can I get any information about this guy? Do not imitate how she speaks. Rule number two. Always avoid distasteful words and profanity. Our shift ends at midnight. Sounds like I need to get a quick, quick nap in. It is what time? 
Okay, yeah, I just need a fucking one hour nap. What a life my character is living. <laughs> Turn. Yeah, here we go. We've hit our target number of pages for the day. Good work. Oh. This guy's doing something too. When are you going to find us another patron, Gus? Fiona Bates is all we have at the moment, but think positive. Feels great to live off our creativity. Oh, the Corsairs. That's important. Retirement. Getting some good search terms here. Get our day's pay. See you tomorrow at 1030. I don't care about that. He's just going to sleep. Day's pay. What a sense of humor. Cleaning wipes and detergent. What kind of professional would it be? Okay. Cleaning up drool in that sex shop. A lot of talk of bodily fluids here. All right. This guy is a janitor. Okay, they're all out. And back to sleep he goes. Corsairs. Basketball team with a famous mascot. Corsairs mascot. Foggy Island. Listen to what our mascot Mr. Cannonball has to say. Mr. Cannonball. Oh, that doesn't help. Uh, Foggy Island. No. Foggy Island Elevator? No. Foggy Island Basketball. Nothing going on there. Alright, we should try to get some good sleep. Five hours. <laughs> A quick nap from 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. Look at how rested we are. We're doing great. All right. Uh. Oops. Food. Shit. There we go. Um. We need eight hours. Eight hours. Like I said, 10:30. No, I don't have time for eight hours. Let's go to the store. Oh, I don't have that much money, though. Shit. Uh, just get in a couple hours of sleep. <sighs> oh, I need more cameras to level up, but I don't have any money. Crystal Kitchen, blah, blah, blah. Drugs, Walker. Hello? Hey, buddy. There was a strong smell of gas in my house. I decided to go out for some fresh air. What do you want? Craving, I'm gonna get a snack at the 24 hour store. I happen to be short on cash. Yeah, fine. Here's six dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care about you. Exterminator. Dog walker. Warehouse assistant. The dog walker is probably a good one because that's pretty short. <sighs> is this just going to be the same scene? I'm not learning anything here. What the fuck? There's got to be something I'm missing. They are writers for hire. Cage five. Who plays the role as the alpha female? That is Fiona Bates. There you go. 50% off on hot dogs. Great. Yeah, I'm not learning anything there. What the hell? What am I missing? Sadness. Ooh. Gustav Jenkins. There we go.
Yay, $75. I can pay my rent. Okay, how the fuck am I supposed to... Rick Stevens Crystal Kitchen. Rick Stevens Neighborhood. How the hell... Crystal Kitchen Neighborhood. Crystal Kitchen Angelo's Heaven. How am I supposed to get his fucking address? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? We need more money. Uh, when's the rent? Not today. Do I walk dogs? Yes. Shit. It's so hard to click. The walk went really well. Isn't that right, my cuddly toy? Wasn't that a nice walk? My Fifi feels very safe with you, I can tell. Isn't that right, my furry little friend? That mommy can tell these things. Come back whenever you want. Yay! My money is here. Man, I... Oh, I'm hungry. God damn it. I have no food. I have no money. Oh, it's hot dogs that are cheap. One hour. Hot dogs, please. Uh, let's do this. We'll rank up tomorrow. And if it's a mistake... Oops! I haven't fed the monkeys yet. Also, hello, Dijon. I... Can I turn my computer off? No! God damn it. I haven't learned anything about this guy. My, my character is just sitting at his computer day in and day out, and now he's gonna eat four hot dogs. Hello. If you could see my face now, you'd laugh like a child. Your heart would blossom and you would reach enlightenment. If only you could see my face now, here's your order. Here's a tip. The fastest route to the barefoot man's hideout starts in his stomach. I'll be back. Okay. Time to chow down on hot dogs. What a meal. Oh, God. Is this going to be anything new? Because I seriously don't know anything about this guy. God damn it. What could I be missing? Let me... What if I... Get the address of Angela's Heaven? Anthony, it's another one of your crud eaters on the phone. I'm not going to answer this time. You answer, Mr. Facido Domingo. Home delivery line, Angela's Heaven. Anthony speaking. I've already picked up. Can't you shut your damn mouth? Blah, blah, blah. We're very busy. We're only taking orders from our regulars. Have you ordered from us before? Give me your name and I'll look you up on the list. My name is Rick Stevens. Is this feeding the monkeys? I don't think so. I'd like to, I'd like to double check my address. I want to make sure you have the correct address. 17 Avalon Street. The address is correct. The problem with your orders must be our idiot delivery guy's fault. I'll give him a piece of my mind. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> that was a little rude. On the bright side, I got this guy's address. Nothing? Okay. Whoa, what the hell? What happened? Pushed her a bit to make her fall, but I didn't mean it. We're very close to defeating those bigwigs, I just know it. Bet you don't think Jane has such a nice smile now, right? What the fuck happened? You sure you're not hungry? I'm going down for some well-sharpened burritos at the hardware store. These guys are not fucking subtle. But I got this address, so... There you go. Uh, 
All right. Now, what do we do? Is there a late night job? No. When's the next job I can do? Because I need some fucking money. 21 o'clock. Okay, so I can simply wait until right now, and I can go do some exterminating. Yay. Dig, dig, dig. We're going to be rich. Yay. Shit, I don't even have enough for rent. <laughs> Fuck, and I have no food. <laughs> Shit. Uh, another job that I can do? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I hope I'm back in time to pay rent. Or that I don't have to pay rent yet. I actually don't remember. Landlady will be back tomorrow. Okay. I've been up to the task physically. That's good. What happened? Crystal Kitchen loses its voice missing person oh oh I gave them his address and whoever I guess whoops well you know maybe my actions have consequences nine cage yeah I got I got nine cages I got nine cages Museum. Okay. This is nothing. 50% off on coffee. I don't care. Coffee is bad. In this game and in real life, where I like it. $20 for recording. I do have a lot of money. Holy shit. Yeah, let's go. $20. I don't need anything else here. This guy, it's fucked. <laughs> I want to help that guy. Landlady tomorrow afternoon. Should I sleep? No, I need more money. <laughs> Maybe the old guy in the elevator will be awake when I get back. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Cage 7, the name of the building. That's you, sir. I don't know anything about you yet. Let's get a quick hour nap in. See if he's up. No. Hello? A package. Thank you. That's not my apartment. Goodbye. This guy's still asleep. Well, let's take another hour nap. This is how sleep works, right? <laughs> Plus six sleep. One more nap. <laughs> I actually don't know if you get better sleep if you do more at a time. That would make sense. Well, I have coffee. Might as well. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> I don't need sleep anymore. Uh, now let's go to the store. The Pomodoro method. Please tell me more. Well, tell me Pomodoro. Tell me more. Pomodoro method. I actually don't know what that is. <laughs> but I would love to learn about the Pomodoro method. This guy's still fucking zonked. And there's people at the museum. Don't you know that it's 8? 15? Yeah, it's not that late, but still. Three three-hour chunks, three nights a week. What a great way to live. Ah, shit. I might have overeaten. This guy's still fucking zonked. I mean, yeah, he's dying, but come on, man. 21 o'clock. <sighs> but I don't know when he's gonna wake. Uh, maybe he'll be awake when I get back. <laughs> I'm googling Pomodoro method because I'm curious. Let's 
It's a method for breaking down tasks. So the Pomodoro method of sleeping, then I assume, would be like 15 minutes of sleep. You know, I... Oh! This guy just woke up. Good, good, good. I remember being a teenager and being subscribed to the website of cracked.com. Oh, I need night vision to read that. Um, dreamt about my wife. Uh, being on cracked.com and reading about life hacks back when life hacks were first blowing up. And I remember reading about the, the Uberman sleep schedule where it's like, four two-hour naps throughout the day or, so, or like four hour long naps throughout the day or something like that and me a teenager i was like yeah yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna learn how to do that uh and genuinely honest to god i was like i mean i say a teenager to be clear i probably would have been like 13 uh and i was like one of these one of these summer vacations i'm gonna do it and it's like, oh, it's so hard, but if you push through, it, it totally works. Your body adjusts, etc. Um, <laughs> like, what? why? Why do that? Why would I do that? Like, what did I want out of it? Like, oh, I'm, I'm 13 years old. I'm going to... I'll have so much more time for... Like... <laughs> I have so much more time for being on MySpace. The lovers fled on horseback together, knowing that their romance was doomed. Doomed? But before they parted forever, they gave each other a long, stirring, passionate kiss. Uh, I think by that point in my life, I was probably over Mario Kart. I think I would have been an epic gamer at that point. All right, we got info here. Whoop, not here. Uh, Foggy Island Giant. Treasure Tower Skyscraper. There we go. Treasure Tower Janitor. Jason Miles. I found you, you beautiful man. Um, so, the name of the building is Treasure Tower. And I mean, what kind of fucking person would I be if I didn't? <laughs> Part of what I think is so funny about me as a as a 13 year old wanting to do that is like, if the idea is that you take short naps throughout the day, um like what am i going to do like just sneak away in the middle of my fucking school day and just be like sorry i need to you know, see i do this thing called the uberman schedule <laughs> yay 70 dollars I will I will say i have i i do know this guy's story and i know what i need and i know that i don't have it yet because what I need to do is call his house and convince his wife that I know enough about him that she can trust me. Uh, and I need to know that he enjoys romance novels. But I haven't quite got that information yet. Say something relevant. Mommy, you need to homeschool me, but I have a good reason. Oh, God. I think I did also uh, believe that homeschooling would be good just for the reason of, like, I can stay home. <laughs> I can play video games all day. Damn it. Passionate Kiss book. Lover's Passionate Kiss. Lover's. Passionate Kiss. Book. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, shit. What, what information am I missing from him? Oh, it's not even 7 o'clock. What am I doing? Four hours. I don't have time for that. And also, it's literally not time for that. Hello, Croy. We are playing Don't Feed the... Monkey. It's a game where I look at people through cameras. Oh, can I do this? Yes! Ha-ha! The Amenifus the Fifth Bust. Fair Exhibition Central Museum, Kevin Elgin, Priceless. A lot of information here. Yeah. I I can't even imagine what my life would be like if I had if I had actually somehow asked and convinced my parents to home. I, I never I never asked to clarify. But I'm I've certainly thought about it. Just just like an idle passing thought, like what if I what if I tell my parents that I should be homeschooled? <laughs> Uh, we are not monkey. We we are observing monkey. <clears throat> also, I don't I don't know if you've been here since since I did this, but you may have noticed. Monkey. You can some some of those commands accept multiple things now. <laughs> oh, and I got I got this working also. Uh, I can. Oh. Can I? Hmm. I might be able to add that. Even right now. Let me see here. I'll add monkey. <laughs> as many as many spellings as people give me. I think that should just work. There we go. <laughs> Ridiculous. It can also do uh, this thing that it's been supposed to be able to do. Give me a quote. Please. Girls love it when I open their rifts. Please roll 4d20. Yay! It does the thing. I made it a little a little more robust in the way that it uh what the fuck? Prowlmart. Ooh. Don't know what all this is for. But the way that it parses commands works a little better now. Amateur zoologist. The committee, five days. I need more cages to keep leveling up. Okay. Landlady will be here pretty soon. Kevin Elgin. Phone number acquired. So, new jobs. But my landlady will be here. You're not my landlady. You must be a dead animal. What do you want? Rent's due tomorrow. Here's six dollars. Man, I'm so nice. An e-nail. Two for one on hot dog. Sure. Let's get let's stock up on hot dog. Why not? Please wake up, sir. I wanna save this guy. I think I have anything else to do with this place right now. Uh, yeah, let's buy let's buy a couple new cages. Ooh. Hello. I'm at the highest level. It's it's what? Oh my god! It's goodbye. <laughs> okay. Have fun with that, I guess. Just normal things. Just regular. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, he's still breathing. That's good. Monkey. Monkey. Hello, Morg. 
Is this my landlady? Oh, you're the guy delivering me hot dog. Here's three dollar. All three are the same, and the sixth one is the key. There won't be enough files for all those bars. Okay. That's what my mixtape is called. <laughs> Not enough files for all those bars. <sighs> Oof. Cringe. know what to do here I need I need more information where's my goddamn landlady all right let's let's try calling and see what we can do excuse me you've been har harassing us for weeks profiting from my husband's disappearance no 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 who are you a friend of my husband yes I'm sick of the charlatans who call us all the time, hoping to become famous at our expense. If you really know my husband, tell him, tell me something about him that only a real friend of his would know. Uh, he loves Mr. Cannonball. Everyone knows he's the biggest Corsairs fan. What else do you know? I know he works in Treasure Tower. That's in his profile. Anyone could know it. Uh, I know his name is Jason Miles. All right, I don't know what I don't know enough. I'm sorry. I'll call you back. <sighs> I just want to help. I need a nap, but my fucking landlady's gonna show up and start being the worst. So I'll just keep buying cages instead. I like this multivision cage. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, it, it is It is kind of like Hypnospace Outlaw. I didn't really get into Hypnospace Outlaw, but... I've Yeah, I, I kind of want to give it another shot, because... It, it didn't really click for me, but... I, I like the idea. I like, I like games that are about, like, going through an interface and, like, gathering information and stuff. Where is my fucking landlady already? <laughs> Jesus Christ, come and take my money. Futurama, Fry, the joke. See, this is the trouble. Is at a time like this, it's like I can't take a nap because too much time will pass. So I just got to wait. I'm, I'm too afraid to do anything because I don't want my landlady to show up while I'm sleeping or whatever. She's still not fucking here? Uh, important study, special collaboration, cage 8. What is the telephone number of the person responsible for the event? Cage 8 would be... Aha, I already know this. I can respond right away. That would be... Kevin Elgin, that blah blah blah. Thank you. Here's your fucking money. A well trained customer. Thanks. Man, I want to help this guy, but I don't know what else. He needs to say something. Shit. Sleep for an hour. Give me the fucking monkey money. He's still sleeping. Then so will I. Oh my god. Come on, man. Give me something. Monkey. Give me the fucking monkey. Hey, give me the fucking monkey. Oh, Yasumi Janitor. Is that a game? Oh, no. You're saying goodnight to the janitor. <laughs> I thought you were... So fuck I thought that you were saying, oh, have you played Oyasumi Janitor? <laughs> it's kind of like this. <laughs> Sequel to Poon Poon. Come on, man. Give me some information or you're going to die. <laughs> I want to help this guy. <laughs> Shit. 
but I also need to work because I need to make money so that I can pay my rent and that I can buy more cameras. Oh my god. I'm almost fully rested, and when I'm fully rested, he's not dead, he's breathing, but he's trapped in an elevator. Come on. Oh, he's still breathing. <laughs> it's terrifying. Please wake up right now. God damn it. I don't know what else to do. I just, I, I need like one more keyword to, to learn that he loves romance novels. Yes, please say something. Come on, come on. Broom, doesn't help. I can't make a noise. I just have a camera. That's all I have. I can do this. Come on. How I love these kind of books. Yes. What kind of books? Come on. You're gonna die. Embarrassed to be seen reading novels like this. Like what? Give me another word that I can write down in my notes. It's so obvious to me, the player, but the character doesn't get it. Please. For fuck's sake, man. Romance. Oh. Oh. Romance novels. There it is. There it is. In the morning, I can call his wife. And I can tell her where he is and he will be saved oh thank god <laughs> can i work no five o'clock is the earliest i should go to the store then let's just spend all my money oh <sighs> okay He's going to be all right. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So, it's still too early to call. My cameras aren't activated yet. I have $3. <laughs> what time is it? 2.30? We can get a couple hours of sleep. Money. Hi. Monkey money, or as I like to say. Oh, okay. It's almost five, and then I can go do some work. Oh, what's going on? No, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Four hours for $46. Two hours for 14 Two hours for 28 Let's do... Let's get $28. I don't want to work too long because I want to be able to call his wife. <laughs> Yay, you look healthier too. Being outdoors clearly does you good. Okay, here we go. Come on, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Shit. All right, let's do another two hours of work in the soup kitchen. Yay, I leveled up. Feels great to be the po help the poorest of the poor. Don't you feel like a better person now? And with all that leftover gruel, you got to eat supper too. Oh, that's nice. Uh, great. Rash of murders. Cool. Yay! I got money for the museum one. Okay. Come on. 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 Yes. I know your husband. He loves romance novels. Oh my god, Jason's been extremely embarrassed about liking those books. He reads them on the sly. He must really trust you. And then I do too. What is it you want? I want to talk about his disappearance. Since those idiots closed Treasure Tower. I know where Jason is. He's confined in one of the elevators. That's impossible. The property development company that bought the skyscraper assured our lawyer that they checked the building from top to bottom several days before closing it up. Need to believe what you're telling me. I've placed my trust in you. How do you know? 
I'm a member. Oh shit. I'm a member of a secret club and I have access to private security cameras. Yay! He's gonna call the lawyer. <sighs> He's gonna be okay. What's going on in here? Cuckoo clock? Oh, that's just writing down the time. Whoa, hello. Wait, no. Shut up. What time is this one usually empty? Yay, they found him. Wait. Wait, the, oh, shit. Rescuing him would be very bad pu publicity. Tell Mrs. Miles it was all a sick joke, and they'll send me $300. Fuck you. <laughs> You've passed the test. Well, goodbye. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep an eye on this lady, too. Well, I've broken the rule of not engaging with the monkeys, so... Fucked up already. You. Okay, we'll leave you. Th I I missed what most of this conversation was about. Austerity and sacrifice. Slander. Philanthropist. What's your deal, lady? Mm. So she's got this exterior and she's like a a poor old philanthropist lady who barely has anything but she gives away what she can but uh she's actually oh cool oh cool that's a little on the nose <laughs> hello my sweet little ingots <laughs> how are you my beloved jewels So what is, or wait, is she not a philanthropist? Is she taking charity? Is that what she's doing? Hmm. I see those Fabergé eggs also. Hmm. My gorgeous baby money. She leaving? Because they did want to know when she's out. No, nah, nothing's going on right now. I should try to get some work done. Fast food clerk, eight hours a day. Supermarket restocker, eight hours. I get food if I work in food service. I have opportunity to sample products that fall on the floor. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I see that you took advantage of our policy and ate a few burgers. <laughs> Anything that falls on the floor is yours. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Yuckaroo. Alright, I can afford a camera. Although, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I'm not gonna think about it. Oh, he's still in there, but... Hi. What's going on here? Nothing. A lot of the cameras don't actually have anything important going on in them, so... Oh. 
Uh, I think that this bust may have been stolen. Mmm, <laughs> floor food. Yum, 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 yum. Alright, let's get some sleep. Four hours of sleep! Nothing going on here. So... Here, let's, let's, you know, we've already breaking, we've already broken the rules. Let's, let's start interacting. Wait, what am I doing? It's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Behind the snack counter was just to see a floor popcorn. I would fucking assume so, yeah. Gross. Warehouse manager. Manager? Holy shit, I'm moving up in the world. Yay! I love how you really take care of those boxes. I might tell you what they contain contain one day, but I might have to make you disappear afterwards. Okay. Funny stuff. What am I doing here? Let's squeeze in a quick nap. Up a quarter of... Wait. Sorry, when you say a sea of popcorn... <laughs> that is... Family brutally murdered. Great. Hey! They found him! The bust was stolen. Don't care about that. Jesus Christ, that's ridiculous, though. Cassidy. So I'm working at a call center. On here. Oh, it's a multivision cage, and I didn't unlock the second one until now. Oh, this, okay. So normally, when you buy a new cage, uh, it takes a day to activate, but I guess, uh, I guess if it's a multi cage, multi camera, whatever, it just activates right away. What do you want, man? Out of cigarettes. Alright, take the money. It's fine. 33% off yogurt. Name of the company with cage 12. Quit after two weeks? Sounds like that's the right choice. Oh, there's... Ax... Oh, shit, I missed the word accident. Generosity with the poor. So I assume this is like an insurance person. Yeah, so it looks like this old lady is taking money for charity when she's actually rich as fuck. Yay! Your husband's back home. Uh, he's sending me his most treasured possession. Oh. Getting ready for their dream trip. Yay! Oh my god, there's so much going on. Shit. <laughs> There's way too much going on. Okay, that's over. Purposely overflow burrito so it wouldn't shut. I... When I worked at Einstein's, I never fucked up food on purpose to eat it, but there was no greater pleasure than when someone like like left behind like a lox sandwich or uh if it was the wrong cream cheese and we had to remake it or whatever that was the fucking dream hello oh we're a group of very normal and ordinary people with very normal and very ordinary jobs moving in the apartment below you very normal, very ordinary process. It's very important you continue going about your everyday routines. <laughs> Dysfunctional family.
That was mommy's prettiest painting. Cassidy. Cassidy Hotels. Cassidy Settlement. Cassidy Policy. No. Hello? Wrapping a burrito seems... I would die if I had to wrap burritos. That's not mine. But don't worry about it. Oh. Hi, I remember you. Oh, that's me. Oh. <laughs> Sell for $120? No, that's my friend. Experienced janitor. Oh. Jason Miles got me a little janitor job. Thank you, Jason. I'm glad I saved your life. Yay. Um, all right, I should try to do something with these. I've already broken the don't interact rule. Uh, Is Ashley Applegate into nudism? No, she's one of the most modest actresses of her generation. Well, someone's taking nude photos of her. It's Leslie Dooley, the wonder driver. That traitor. They are being taken from an attic. I'll make a note of that. I have to report this right away. Yay. I used to call in orders to the pizza place. My friend worked out two states over so she'd get free pizza. <laughs> oh my god. Incredible. Nope, oh, gone. That's fine. Oh, hello. It's you guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, tell me more. Blah, blah, blah. Holy book. Go book, book, book. Book, book, book. Book, book, book. Check on the plan. Yay. Come back in a few days to take it away. Keep taking care of it. You got it. Oh, something's going on here. Claim settlement processing. Alice. Alice Cassidy. The Wormans. Holy shit. Something ridiculous happened the other day. I was leaving. I was going to the store. And I got in my car. And I turned the engine on. And I was like about to pull out of my parking space and these fucking Mormons like yeah yeah I talked about it on discord they like like knocked on the window of my car and they were like hey and I rolled down my window I was like hi and they were like hey you got time to talk and I was like no I'm leaving <laughs> they were like, oh, well, is there a better time that you'd be more free to talk? And I was like, no. And they were like, oh, because, you know, they, they've got their fucking script. So, like, they're going to, no matter what you say, they're going to try to uh, respond in a way that, like, keeps the conversation going. Uh, oh, I haven't even looked up anything for this person. Uh, so... They just kept talking, and eventually I was just like, I'm leaving, and I just rolled up my window and just left. And I felt kind of like an asshole, but also... It's their fucking fault. <laughs> Hear him out next time. No! I'm, I'm leaving. My engine is on. Don't fucking knock on my window, you freaks. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on here. Pills Amaris. Spit us. Are the camera and sound people going to give me any money? Oh, I think this guy's, like, trying to get her to appear on some special... I... 
I mourned when I was 18. It's too much of a commitment. Yeah, I, I've been religious. I was, uh... When I was growing up, you know, my family's Jewish. I was, I was very, very into the Judaism. I was like, oh, when I... Even after my bar mitzvah, I'm gonna study harder than ever. And then once I didn't have to anymore, it's just like... Ooh. GS. We're getting info. Um, oh, hello. Once I was in college, it was just like, oh, I don't, I don't have to like go to temple for holidays because I don't live with my parents anymore. Bye. I am no longer religious. <laughs> I like my missionaries, but they switch out like every six months, and I was like, oh, I'm not interested. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I. Uh. Yeah, I I knew some Mormons in high school and they were they were all very nice, but every time I like they told me about their family upbringing whatever it was like that's that's weirdly intense. <laughs> all right. Uh bellhop Warehouse manager. Yeah. I need to get some sleep, too. Jesus. Yeah, I was... My my first girlfriend in high school was Mormon, and I remember one time uh, I was going to a concert with her and her friends, and they were in the car, and they were all talking about doing fucking baptisms for the dead, and I was like, that's super weird! Don't do that! Yeah, it's, it's fucking weird. Especially, like, there was a whole controversy with Mormons, like, doing baptisms for Jewish people who died in the Holocaust, which is... <laughs> Don't do that! Don't do that. Arrested for taking nude photos of actress Ashley Applegate. Cool. Glad they put it in the newspaper. Oh, nothing going on here. Probably. I don't know, maybe, but I doubt it. You're like, hey, your family will join you in our afterlife if you just do this one simple trick. Yeah, seriously. Uh, how am I doing on these? Two for one on Chinese food. Mm. Hello, Andrew. Thanks for the information about the sneak photos. I already notified the police. We don't have to worry about anyone invading the privacy of Ashley Applegate anymore. At least until she's old enough to give her consent for that sexy magazine cover I already committed to. Thanks, asshole. We're interviewing candidates to be Ashley's driver. We're looking for someone extremely nearsighted. <laughs> Great. Cage 10. I think that's the old lady. Oh. Shit. Things are happening here. I need to find out what time she leaves her house. Oh, yeah, I wanted to Google GS Philanthropist. Amelia Winnipeg, oh, Good Samaritans, Inc. Oh man, there's a lot going on here. Prudence. Is the best protection. That's gotta be a slogan. Prudence policy, prudence settlement, prudence. No, prudence. Shit.
not sure what I'm doing here. Hello. Apartment 16, that's me! Oh, God. Uh, get out of my home. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh, we got our address. That's good. Let's 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 find something for this guy. No answer. Oh, he's probably fucking working. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gross. How much can I sell that for? $160. I don't want that. <laughs> Come on, say something helpful. Claim Say the name of your company. <laughs> Too busy with her gold to answer the phone. Yeah, my precious little ingots. An accident. Okay, that's gotta be enough. Yes. Insurance. There we go. Sweet prudence. There we go. I sold a picture of Ashley Applegate. Uh, I don't know if you were here. Uh, so there was a, a driver, a limousine driver, uh, who was taking secret uh, nude photos of an actress that she drives for. Um, and I tipped off her manager about it, so they sent me a signed photo or something. Okay, um... Don't have this yet, but name of the company. I can tell you that it is Sweet Prudence. There you go. So, yes, here we go. So it looks like her thing is that she is, like, translating this language by watching this show? So I'm going to learn what pleasure is. Yay, money. Oh yeah, what were you saying? The it's not your usual church. It's like the bigger churches you gotta go to for those. Ninety-five percent of what I did was to do a mission. Oh, you joined to do a mission, but the amount of money, I'm gonna converting, the amount of money. Explain the money. Is it like expensive to? Go to the church? 15 o'clock. They're gonna rob that lady. You have to pay $12,000? What the fuck? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what? It's a lot of money. I guess it's tithes to me. I'm glad these hot dogs are still good. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, where are we at here? Can I call this guy? Probably not. Oh, he's still fucking working? Jesus Christ, man. Oh, I hold a doctorate in comparative literature and a master's in vanguard narrative, and I also clean out septic tanks. You're calling about our writer for hire service, right? We're running a special offer on self-help books. Can you tell me about Fiona Bates? I don't know her. 
Okay. Successful offers use writers for hire, write hundreds of pages in their name. We script the odd interview, but everything else is their own work. I know you write books for that woman. I suppose the people at the publishing house can't keep their mouth shut. Yes, we are the ones who write them. However, if you repeat a word of this conversation, I'll deny everything. I can simply say that we're particularly proud of our work with Mrs. Bates. That woman is a functional illiterate. She could barely read the clauses in our contract, and she signed with an X. Uh, let's change the subject. Can't answer that question. We're writers for hire. Septic tank cleaning. That doesn't sound nice. Uh, you learn your father's trade. You can literally get a fresh sandwich. Hello, Giga. <laughs> Buried under two tons of excrement. Oh, no. Look up at me from hell, Dad. Look up at me from the hell you're burning in. You were wrong. <laughs> you good? What is a writer for hire? Deregulated patronage. Poetry, novels, self-help books. Oh, must be tough. You're not in it for the fame. If you want to make a living using your typewriter, you're in an excrement. I'd like to hire you to write something for me. Oh, the timer is paused right now. That's good. <laughs> the total will be $130. Why don't you write it for yourselves? He doesn't want to be famous. He wants to be a writer for hire. Okay. Sure. I don't know what good this is. What title should they put on the book? Okay, he doesn't want to do that. Uh, the, the paint... Can I... No? The pain of living... The pain of living, according to Gustav Jenkins. Now, according to Fiona Bates. No, hold on. <laughs> Sphincters, urine, and excrement of Fiona Bates. <laughs> no. Fiona Bates helps you with your sphincters, urine, and excrement. <laughs> All right, man. Get to it. <laughs> oh, what have I done? <laughs> oh, I can't get any more cages yet. All right, what's going on? Let's see. Landlady's going to be here in the afternoon. Let's get some sleep. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? They're going to write that book now. All right. Well, sometimes you just do it. She's still, still trucking. So what do we got here? Alice Cassidy... Love. I don't really know what to do for her just yet. Can I sneak in some work? $48. Let's sneak in some work. Number one bestseller. Fiona Bates helps you take a shit. Thank you. Anything going on here? No? I did, I did get a man murdered, that's true. I, I forgot about that one. <laughs> In my defense, that was the first uh, the first one that I like interacted with and I didn't really understand what I was doing yet. I mean, look, not, look. 
I've, I know I've played this game before. That's not what I mean. Oh, wait. What I mean is, I wasn't thinking about it, okay? And now he's dead. Boo fucking who. An email. <gasps> oh yeah, yeah, I'm already good there. Uh, that's done. That's nothing. One of Wonder Woman's radicals. <laughs> yeah. A reactionary terrorist. The emergency exterminator. Uh, downstairs neighbor. They're incredibly normal. They told me so. I had to take a taxi instead of the bus. Blah, blah, blah. Here's six dollars. Goodbye. Landlady's gonna be here in a couple hours. Yogurt's cheap. Oh, this lady's gonna get fucking robbed. Oh, she's not leaving yet. Ha, 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 ha. Open the door and Steppenwolf comes in. How dare you. Steppenwolf is dead and you know it. Spoilers. <laughs> what can I do with her? You know, well, no one's more broken up about it than his skull. So this lady is clearly a sex worker. I'm not quite sure what I have to gain by talking to her. That old lady's gonna get robbed. I think there was something that she said to like her mom about having a, that she's like sober now. I miss the insurance lady saying someone's claim number. Well. Such is life. <laughs> I don't know. I've got information. It's fine. So. Let's give it a shot. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm hanging up. <laughs> I don't... Sorry, sorry for bothering you. How's Mammy's prettiest painting? <laughs> yeah, money, yogurt, blah, blah, blah. I want my landlady to show up so I can... Oh, neat. My land... Oh, oh, she's not even coming today. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. Pay attention here, see if we can get anything that's useful. Is this gonna be your mom? No. Claims settlement processing. You're told to call this number. Okay. What's the reason for your call? Household accident. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, like, this old lady's gonna get robbed. That much is clear. Um, I don't know what I could possibly have to do with her or her. Give me your policy number. Let's see if I get it. I don't know what good it would be to have some random person's policy number. But... Uh-huh. Just a second, please. Hold the line! Receive your money right away. Okay? 
She's very helpful. Remember, prudence is next to brudence. Well, this lady's fucked. <laughs> oh, cool. I can learn some more words here. Still going. Enemy. Oh, I gotta flip back and forth here. Whoops. All right, bye. Thanks for watching. Uh, I tried to watch the old lady getting robbed, but it's fucking done. <laughs> Hello. Part 36, that's not me. I can be his assistant. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Drop dead. Oh, are you gonna read back that number? You tell me your policy number. Hatred. I, I just don't know what... Like, I can call this woman on the phone and tell her I hate her. <laughs> like, is that... Is that the goal? Nothing clickable there. Yay, they robbed the old lady. That's fine. She seemed like a real piece of work anyway. What am I supposed to do here? Um, let's just try calling the insurance company and see if anything happens. I would like to speak to Alice Cassidy. What am I doing? Oh, God. After having an accident... Wait, can I, like, do insurance fraud? I'm sorry, I didn't realize that that's what was happening here. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, God. What a nightmare. What am I doing? <laughs> Hello, I would like a settlement, please. What the fuck? Alright, nothing going on here. Uh, when do I get my thing? One money, please. I don't know. I thought that because she mentioned like something or other about uh, being sober, I thought I might be able to like help her in some way. I don't know. You remember the Cassidy camera. <clears throat> Is there something that I can do to like help her? Monkey. I mean, she seems fine. <laughs> Night security guard for a hundred dollars. That's pretty fucking good. Let's go. We're rested. Fuck it. Fuck it. Cassidy camera. I managed to stay awake. The only thing that I can do would be negative. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. It doesn't really seem like there's any opportunity in particular to like do anything good for anyone there <laughs> and that's fine but if she doesn't need help then she's fine moving on <laughs> i mean they jesus my fucking desk is wobbling <laughs> robbery robbery at home of amelia winnipeg Dave Clark, only candidate opposing Walker, drops out of race. Well. Yay, I leveled up. Hello. What? what? Huh? What? Well, 
let's let's be the assistant mail carrier. Get a little bit of money. Just two hours of work for pretty good money. Let's go. Yay, I'm a very kind person. Whoa, hello. Gus Jenkins. Oh, right, I forgot. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? Well, Miss Bates is suing the publishing house, so the book will be withdrawn and all the profits will go to her. A title is something far too personal for me to interfere with. Only the book's true author should choose it. These are writer for higher, higher rules. I'm afraid that was the only thing our previous patron, Fiona Bates, was any good at. We aren't going to see a single dollar in sales. I'm sorry. I'm offering you a job as my septic tank cleaning assistant. What do you say? Even the most beautiful flower for, can bloom from the darkest pool. <laughs> oh, God. My colleagues and I have to find another patron before we get kicked out of the ATM vestibule we're sleeping in tonight. <laughs> Whoops. It's fine. They're fine. More cages. Holy shit. Need to make sure that I have enough money for rent. That is what matters. What's going on here? All right. Okay. Teach me more words. Spanking. Oh boy. I mean, it's $90 every like three days. So, here, let's do that math. I'm gonna do it on my phone so that I can keep up with this. $90 every three days. So that's for 30 days in a month. I mean, that's $900. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's not, it's not the worst rent in the world. <laughs> it's, I mean, the ideal rent would be $0, but we live in a society... Is there anything good to do here? Those words that I haven't learned yet. All right, nothing going on there. Uh, when is... Okay, rent is tomorrow. Can't do that. $50, oops. $42, $46. Experienced janitor. It's good, good money for four hours of work. I mean, not in real life, but... Eh, I mean, it's above minimum wage. <laughs> Whoops. Oops. <laughs> let's let's clean some septic tanks with that fucking writer whose life we ruined. <laughs> septic tanks are a metaphor for the life of an artist. Come back whenever you want. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a weirdo. Oh, we're gonna have a fucking lot of cameras to deal with tomorrow. What have I done? Oh no. Oh, I'm about to make this game way harder on myself than it needs to be. <laughs> That's the game, though. I have all the cameras I need to level up, so... Uh, anything here that I care about? No. Oh, God. Okay. Well, the tire fire is out of control, so that's good. Just doing some gardening. Enjoying 
giant freaky plant. What's going on here? Family having breakfast. They look super happy. Don't know what that is. A damned commercial. Stop crying already. Porters camped on our doorstep. I don't care about that anymore. <laughs> oh wait, did I even have a thing with that? Toy. Ooh. Gone. Kid. going on here parents were loaded the fuck is this you and your class stereotypes justice for the rich <laughs> seems like a very nice lady the freeze on our bank accounts the hell this is the judge all right something's going on here oh there's so many new cameras that i want to explore but there's just so much happening <laughs> Old man, yes. Okay, so this one's done. Let's see. Don't know what that is. Cage 15 needs the address. Two for one on fruit. Okay, great. Take care of kittens. Just a shop front window. Nothing going on there. Numbers. Office man. Shit. Country. Scanning. Okay. Foreign accent. Shit. Shit. Deaths. Shit. Money. What's here? Some kind of office. <laughs> Too much. Too much. What? Rent. Whatever. Please, I'm fucking busy. Advice. Oh my god. Scanner. I don't think that I care about that. I would like to have a Nasser visit. In prison. be in touch okay I got a lot to catch up on here money advice money salute to money <laughs> okay now what Debt advice? No. A vulnerable senior. <laughs> Tell me about countries. Smiles for seniors. Oh my god, <laughs> too many fucking cameras. Go on and cry, you'll get over it. Okay. So 
Miles for seniors. Stem pot. Oh yeah, that's the gardener. Super nanny. Don't talk to me about super nanny. <laughs> phone call you little noise machine these parents are going through it finances there we go financial advisor professionalism Ooh, balance passion about numbers <laughs> love numbers low-cost price Daddy isn't going to prison. Oh, as soon as we know Daddy isn't going to prison. <laughs> oh, you should make me read some Super Nanny fandom shit. I agree. That is a true true statement. Wait. Twins? Okay. Mr. Statler. Oh my god. <laughs> Values. What? Ideals. What? Oh, cool. Yeah, for sure, dude. going on here <laughs> no there's no way that that's Hitler don't be ridiculous look at how normal he looks clone army great great incontinence medicine for Hitler I mean Statler oh this seems important I told you not to call me during working hours time here. <laughs> it's just too much happening. Shit. Fuck, I... Double life. Good to know, man. Mustache. Too many monkeys. See yellow. That sounds useful. Oh my god. Guys, can you can you put it away for a minute? I'm so busy. a bicycle oh he wants an educational toy well, that's nothing I don't care about that oh hold on hold on hold on juice me
God. Please, everybody fucking go to sleep. You fucking low-cost financial advisor. Jonathan Dull. A little on the nose, that's okay. Found you. We're not... We don't need to talk about what just happened. Cool. Funny. Jesus. Good for you. It's toxic. That's good. <laughs> I love that the very end of that you can hear a parrot even go. <laughs> I I couldn't I could not get rid of that. It's just in there. It's toxic. That's good. It's toxic. That's good. I need to check in on um, the the emails that I've been getting. I don't know what people want from me right now. It's been so long. Okay. Uh, mail. Cage 15. They want the address. That is... Oh. Great. Arthur Straw. 46 Lithium Avenue. Shit, that might not be right. That might be where he lives. <laughs> My character has not slept in what feels like a million years at this point. <laughs> so let's do that. And hope. Yay! I didn't really think about it before I sent that, so that's good. <laughs> Oh, I need to do a lot of uh, Googling. Did I miss the landlady? Or did I pay and it's the days are just running together? <laughs> Something wrong with my bot. Yes? Oh, I don't have a yes. Although that is something wrong with my bot. Let me add that to the to-do list. There you go. <laughs> I ha it hadn't even occurred to me. But now it has. Okay. Let's fucking do some Googling here. Where's... Stop emailing me! 50% off pizzas! Here we go. Uh, dictator. Schrodinger bird. Fredonia. Great. Fredonia dictator. August Henkel. I get it. Fredonia values. Fredonia wars. Fredonia past. 
Hmm. Cage 17, what is the address? 17 is... Jesus Christ, these people are still fucking going. Oh, this is 17. Yeah, let's give him a little call. Oh my god. <laughs> Two! Statler! 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 Daniel Statler. I want to make a complaint. Oh, I get the joke. Daniel Statler. Got it. I don't have any food. Two for one pizzas, though. Four pizzas, four pizzas. <laughs> All right. Yay, there you go. Oh, my God. Cool. Great. What? Is, I, I got nothing here. Prison, freeze, judge, prison, freeze, judge. I have no idea what this person's deal is. Oh, my pizzas, thank you. A smart person looks after their health for a day. A wise person thinks about it every day, but only an idiot pays the mortgage on my house with their foolishness. I'll be back. Thank you. Yay. What is it now? Everyone's knocking on my door. It's a package. For me. No... No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Ooh, what's going on? <laughs> what do I do with this guy? Because this guy's clearly Hitler. Yes, Giga? <laughs> Just let him live. What about the doll? It's just a regular doll. No, I'm not gonna let it live with me. It's gonna fucking kill me. The doll is, uh... There's one camera you can get that's like, uh... It's a dark room. Here, I'll show you the room. Uh, this one? This one? This one? Yeah, it's just this dark room, and there's like a doll on the shelf, and every day when you look, it's getting closer and closer to the camera, until ultimately, uh, it <laughs> disappears and then appears at your door. <laughs> so that's the problem with that. This thing is not great. Can I... Can I help you? You good, man? Well, that's not helping. When butterflies fly. I don't know why I thought Googling it again would be useful. Let's try calling again. Let's see what happens. Wait, what? Whoa. 
I chase you through the dark and light? No. Shit. Okay, I need to fucking remember what the lyrics are, I guess. I love you, my happy heart sings, in the garden where dreams spread their wings. I love you, whispers the sun in the sky, while the flowers hear the music of your lullaby. You're the tune that plays when butterflies fly. That's gotta be enough. Go join the other bitches. <laughs> Jesus Christ. In the garden where dreams spread their wings. Starting to come back to me. Wish for the stars in the sky. While they chase you through the dark and light. That was when butterflies fly. The song my mother rocked me to when I was a baby. Thanks! I guess remembering it somehow broke the control the heavy green titan has over my mind for a few seconds. We have to stop that plan before it carries out its terrible plan. The green monster has the ability to clone humans in its vicinity and control their thoughts. I sometimes wonder if that ability might have had something to do with the alien DNA we added, but we serious scientists know there's no danger in genetically modifying food, so I have to roll that hypothesis out. The Green Dictator's plan is to spread its cuttings all over the world until it has a powerful army of human clones to take over the Earth. How can we keep it from happening? We have to kill the mother plant, the original one that's currently in my greenhouse. Every morning my clones and I apply a special fertilizer that we receive at home. What if someone were to send something else? When we're under its control, we're no more intelligent than a supermarket cactus. We'll apply the first thing delivered to our house. Can I buy some home and garden? Boom. Done. All right. Now, can I do something for you? Hello? My master wants to tell you something. My master is sending me the following telepathic message. You meet pie, leave my bitches alone. Do you think I'm sitting here... Damn it. Picking my nose. I know you've been talking on the phone. I know you're plotting against me. I tortured the original Arthur Straw to make him talk, but he passed out. He's up to his knees with his mouth full of manure. My victory is inevitable. My plants are going to take over the earth. Tell me your plan and I'll spare your life when we win. No. Goodbye. No, he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> I'm really trying to decide what I should do with this guy. Like, what can I do? Blackmail him? Is that it? Is that where this goes? I, I really need more information here, too. I got nothing on these people. City's saddest child. Video games. But I don't know anything about who these people are. Don't fucking talk to your son that way, lady. Come on. I just realized. Oh, cyber trash. Wait, cyber trash case case. I, I just realized I can send them a video. Don't shout. You've been fucking shouting. <laughs> Alright. I have no memory of that. 
Jesus Christ. That's still going. Yeah? Yeah. But I got, I have a lead now. I can try to figure out who this guy is. John Slender. Slender Man himself. John Slender Tech. So, hmm. but I don't have his address. Because I want to, I want to send it. <laughs> I want to send them the chemistry set to make their son happy, but I could also uh, fucking report them is my other option. Hmm. Let's get some sleep or work. Dishwasher. Yeah, we're good on money for now. Let's get some sleep. <sighs> Happy wee minute. I got nothing with that next place. Bedding. That's something. Oh, 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 alcohol. Come to our offices carrying firearms or blunt force weapons. But what is your office? What is your office? Baseball bats are only fun on the playing field. Yay! Local weather forecast this might be useful Ex asphyxiating heat and temperatures above 112 degrees Fahrenheit authorities recommend staying off the old desert road if you're Leaving the city and desert bedding. Highway 45. Yes. Ha ha. Great local desert derby. Don't care about that. Hmm. I don't think I have anything going there. Uh, is this plant still kicking? Yeah, for now. My landlady? Not yet. Then let's try to do some work. Advertising intern. Two hours. A nice quick shift. Two days until I level up. LOL, LOL, LOL. Thank you. What's going on here? 50% off coffee? Don't care. <laughs> Can I? Probably needs to be in his office. Let's give him a call. See if I can do anything for him. It's an honor to talk to the She-Wolf of Wall Street. Well, you know. 
I'm the laughing stock of every family gathering. Some of my neighbors avoid me in the elevator. My girlfriend is so ashamed of me that she's gone to live with her mother. Doesn't anyone know how to keep a secret in this town? Uh, gonna give you some advice. I must admit I'm a mess. Plus, it's not something I can talk with about many people. Talk about with many people. But you know what? Maybe fate has placed you in my path for a reason. You seem trustworthy and I'm incapable of making a decision. Gonna put my future in your hands. I don't know whether to try for the life of fame and glamour I deserve or continue with my boring, miserable, everyday routine. What should I do? Follow your dreams, man. Drop everything for show business? Well, maybe not everything. Yes, I'll drop everything. Alright, good luck. Now what do I do here? Because I really... <laughs> I really do want to send them the the thing, but I don't know where he lives. Can I call? No answer, that makes sense, they're busy. Gotta be something I can do here. I I could send the video, but I feel like there's gotta be something better to do. He clearly wants that chemistry set, and I know that I can buy it. <clears throat> Hello, child ha childhood happiness. Educational toys overdeveloped the cerebellum and neocortex, causing serious neurological damage. There's also the issue of excess intelligence dragging the child irrevocably into loneliness, depression, and ultimately suicide. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm so sorry. I gotta go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Uh, can I do anything with her yet? Oh, I know all the words. Maybe I'll maybe I'll figure something out there. Nothing doing here. Let's call Daniel Statler. <laughs> Hello, am I speaking to Adolf Hitler? Why you ask for that name? What can you tell me about Fredonia, Mr. Henkel? I know nothing about the politics and always live happy in my neighborhood. Tell me about yourself, Adolf Hitler. Okay. Do you know the word eugenics? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, man. Alright. I think I have to get... I, there's gotta be like one more word that'll get that and then I can figure something out there. Uh, oh, hello. Arthur Straw. We managed to defeat the Green Tyrant. Heavy Green Titan is just an enormous rotting head of lettuce now. The rest of the cuttings uh, cease to be dangerous. The world, my clothes, and I are in your dead. Do you ever just browse around on Insecam? Insecam. 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 Oh! Dialogue. No more unethical experiments. My clones and I are going to return to the path of serious and responsible science. The army of President Walker. Uh, well, that's no good. That's not good. Bye. Okay. <laughs> bye. 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 Yay. It's a site. The catalogs are all insecure. Inter internet. What? That's upsetting. <laughs> that's that's no good if that's real not 
let's call this guy and see if I can figure out his address. Uh, it doesn't matter. Do those streaks have anything to do with an educational toy? I have a highly developed intuition. I live next door. We can't afford to buy him a toy he wants. I could get you that toy. <laughs> I'm on trial for my immense talent and entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah, okay. Judge has frozen my bank accounts. Sure. Deal. I'll get you that toy. Got it. A chemistry set. All right. Well, here, let's just... Chemistry, educational toy. Yeah, yeah. My first chem lab. To 345 Cypress Valley. There you go, man. Your kid will shut up. The adult male, 19. Oh. That's easy. That is... John Slender. Uh, all right, so the yeah, that's good. Let's call this lady and see if I can figure out something to do here. Uh, cattle. <laughs> what am I doing? Steer. Wait, what did I just do? <laughs> what did I just do? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, she'll be fine. Uh -huh. Landlady is here tomorrow. I'm fucking rolling in it, so. Let's go do some janitor work, shall we? Oh, what's up? Hi, guys. How's the plant doing? It looks beautiful. Wow, a signed copy of the Book of Bumble. The Book of Wylan. Bye. <laughs> yes, correct. Thank you. What did I do here? Hello. John Slender. He's happy. First, we're going to try the toy out. Oh, good. I'll be fine. Look at him smiling with his new toy. Yay, what a happy little lad. Can you hear that? Whoa. It's the sound of silence. Yay. I have a feeling that things are going to get better from here on out. Whoop. I'm not trying to do that. I'm sorry. Our family will come out of all of this stronger than before. Everything's going to turn out just fine. Whoops. 
This family sucks. Come on. Give me the words that I need. Come on. Come on. It's, it's got to just be one more word. And then I can, I don't know, call him and taunt him about being Hitler. I don't actually know. I don't know what the end game is here. <clears throat> so little understanding. No... <laughs> August Henkel ideals? August Henkel values. August Henkel wars. <sighs> I don't know. Is there anything else pending? 22. I don't know what to do here. For now, sleep for the guy. Ugh. I should probably be wrapping this up soon, but I'm pretty sure I'm near the end, so I might just try to blast onwards. I don't think there's another level. If there's another level of cages beyond this, then that's ridiculous. <laughs> just told her about cows and she said okay goodbye <laughs> forgot about food <laughs> Pizza that's been sitting here for days. Good, 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 good. Nothing going on here. Can I get some work in? Septic tank. Assistant mail carrier. Let's assist in the carrying of some mail. in advance the time and I think we got one day left if I remember correctly days remaining till next evaluation one hey good for you President Walker re-elected that sounds good the top level yes I'm already I'm already set I got it guys I got all my damn cameras. Happy Monkey Monday. Oh, the outside looks good. <laughs> Did you know we had one of those in this world? How is this doing? Oh, their house is fine. I thought they would have died or something. Oh, hello. Jonathan Dull. Yeah, I saw. Fire my idiot of an agent, and I want his commission to go to you. Wouldn't be here without that push you gave me. I'll transfer the money to your account every three days. That's so nice. All right. Something went well for someone in this game. 50% <laughs> off on hot dogs. Yes. Is there nothing? No, there's nothing here. It's just a regular one. So, these two, Hitler and the betting place. Oh my god. <laughs> what? 
What happened? What did I do? <laughs> what did I tell her? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've done something terrible, but I don't quite understand what. Oh, did I... Did I miss the landlady? Oh, the mailman. I'm sorry. I don't care if I miss the landlady, but I feel a little bad about that. <laughs> oh no, I turned her into a cow. That's terrible. Oh well. I hope I don't sleep past the landlady. It's fine. It's the last day anyway. Just passing the time with some <laughs> swaying. I don't know. <laughs> well, I have an email. Uh, hello. There's your rent. Fuck off. God damn it, I just want to see Hitler. <laughs> Just want to watch Hitler watch a documentary about himself. Is that so much to ask? I feel like this is I think this is my last chance to do something there. But he's just he's just so busy. No, that doesn't you're not you need to say the words that I want. <laughs> Come on, man. Man, it looks really good outside. <laughs> Nothing like a million fucking containers of yogurt in a row to really clog up your works. I don't know if that's what yogurt does. I've, you know what? I've never eaten a thousand yogurts in a row, so I actually don't know what effect that has on your body. <laughs> Maybe it's really good for, for your guts. I don't know. Don't listen to me. Just dumping words out of my mouth as I nap over and over. Yogurt is good for shitting. There you go. The more you know. Come on, man. Give me gameplay. That's good gut bacteria. I knew that. Everyone knows that. Especially me. <laughs> Is this how the game ends? Is that I'm just going to take ten naps in a row waiting for Hitler to watch a DVD? And then that will be the end of it? I think that might actually be how the game ends. <laughs> I've just been so on top of everything. There's nothing else going on. Oh yeah, I mean, if if you were able to just just pop down for a three hour nap, and then later in the day go in for another like two hours, and you're just like, I'm all set. I think uh, I think we might have uh, squeezed all the gameplay out of this playthrough. <laughs> because I think. This should be it. Day 16. I'll be receiving instructions soon on how to enjoy my well-deserved reward. Hello. Says something about monkeys. Thank you. A bottle of elixir. Drink this cold beverage. You drank the contents of the bottle in a single gulp, and within a few seconds, you lost consciousness. When you came to, your body felt very light, so much so that when you that you started to float around the room and eventually passed through the ceiling. And that's how you traveled through the city skies. You drifted freely between apartment buildings and skyscrapers, and if you squinted your eyes, you could even see what was going on inside each one. You had never felt so happy. 
At the end of your journey, you found the oracles sitting on a cloud. They asked you the following questions. We are three, we are six, and we are one. What are you looking for? I want to find out about the secret of the cage of the great primate, you answered. So that's the uh, the delivery guy when you order food. I think that's the president. I don't know if I recognize this character. Oh, dear member, the secret of the cage of the great primate has always been inside you, they said in unison. Monkey. I don't understand. What do you mean? You asked with astonishment. Well, the secret is... Monkey. The great monkey. and monkey. only monkey. secret monkey. is... Monkey. Oh, banana. And when you heard it, everything dissolved in a blinding white light, and you yourself dissolved in it. In that immaculate light that makes up the very essence of the universe like a leaf floating in the infinite currents of the most absolute and perfect cosmic harmony. Well... After her record sales fell and on her agent's advice, Ashley Applegate opted for a racier image becoming the main character in her own reality show, The Hidden Gates of Ashley Apple Nude. <laughs> Today, photos of her fully clothed fetch high prices on the black market, okay? After the disappearance of Rick Stevens, oh yeah, sorry about that one, Crystal Kitchen was torn down to make way for an exclusive country club. As compensation for the loss of their homes, the former residents received a 3% lifetime discount on code check fees. Yay! Over time, Fiona Bates helps you with your sphincter's urine and excrement became to be considered a cult literary work. Unfortunately, because of piracy, it only generates $2 a year in, revenue, in royalties. The Central Museum fired Kevin Elgin after the scandal over the switch of the bust of the pharaoh Amen Amenophis V. He is currently the director of the National Painting Gallery, where he continues to be the subject of controversy and suspicion. I think he's mad that she bought a cow. Once the toxic cloud dissipated, John Slender and his family were declared missing. It is rumored that they took f advantage of the opportunity to flee the country to escape legal harassment. Although it is more likely that they fell victim to the poisonous gas. <laughs> Yay! I have completed the path of the enlightened monkey. That's monkey. it. That's that's uh, do not feed the monkeys. Oh, there's way more where that came from. There's a whole whole bunch. It's random every time which cameras you get. There's so many more than that. But juice me. I I guess I'll juice me. Let me juice myself. There we go. Uh, we've done it. That's going to be it for this fucking stream. Uh, don't have the currency for it. Well then. No, if you, if you don't got the currency, then you don't got the currency. I don't do that shit for free. Also, I'm tired. <laughs> I would do it if you had the coins. But I'm tired. I'll, I'll read Super Nanny fandom, Fan and Wiki at some point for sure. Um, let's see if anyone is streaming that I follow. I need to follow more channels because nobody is following for me to raid the one time that I remember to do it. Uh, hey dude, anyone, anyone here follow anyone who's streaming right now besides me that I could raid, maybe? Otherwise I'll just raid T-Pain. <laughs> I'm, I'm remembering to raid right now. Hell yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if that's picking up at all. Raid T Pain. T Pain. I actually don't even know T Pain's Twitter or uh, stream. T Pain Twitch. It's just T Pain. That makes sense. That's not. He might. He might not be on. That might be the problem. Hmm. Well. Eyes on B. I think I think you rated Eyes on B before. Let's go to Eyes on B. There we go. I'm not going to rate Anthony Fantano. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, how do I do this? Is it slash raid eyes on B? Monkey. All right.
right. Well, that's that's going to do it then, I guess. Let's fucking go. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching. I forgot to do this. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Bye.